Although the broken hat is full of Chinese characters, in fact, there is a top business mind hidden under the hat. The black boy is a shoeshine boy. Notice that he deliberately chooses to set up a stall at the door of the bank, so that his customers are rich white people. And he doesn't pay attention to shoeshine is thin and slow, so that he can hear the financial secrets that white people talk about. While waiting for them to leave, the little boy will write it down in his book. What he really wants is this valuable financial knowledge. At an old age, he knows that his lifelong ideal is to become a banker. This is the serious murder of a black man in Texas in 1939. Where discrimination is squeezed, the father sadly tells his son that your ideal is impossible. But his son's eyes reveal his determination to overcome all difficulties. Fifteen years later, the grown-up boy moved with his wife and children to Los Angeles, where racial discrimination is slightly lighter. So he chose to start a family here and live in a small sundry room, with relatives and broken nose. But when the man made a promise, we would move out soon. He started as a real estate agent and looked for houses for sale everywhere in the city. Through keen observation, he found that the black area of Los Angeles was overcrowded. While there were still a lot of empty people in the white area, there was a demand for rent, but he had no economic strength. There is a market, which is the business opportunity of real estate speculation and rent release. He likes to pay an apartment full of weeds at the door which is obviously not very good, but only he can see its location advantage, which is adjacent to the black area. He found the owner and said, you only rent half of the apartment, so it's better to sell it to me. I'll give you 30,000 now, and then give you five money when I rent out all the rooms. Although the owner appreciated the black man's mind, he didn't want to do risky business, the man said he understood. Before leaving, he suddenly received the owner's calendar, which said that the giver was the manager of a bank. When he had away, he said goodbye to the owner and turned to the bank. When I came to the manager's secretary, who delivered the calendar, in fact, the black man didn't recommend him. He waited at the door of the bank for several hours. When the manager came out, he stopped him immediately. He said I knew your VIP customer and my business would be beneficial to him. I hope you can grant me a loan. But the bank manager also pointed out that in the evening, he received a phone call from the owner and the owner questioned him. Did you use my name to get a loan? He had to go everywhere. Instead of asking questions, the owner appreciated his belief that he had tried his best to achieve his goal. The protagonist guaranteed a loan for him, so he borrowed the first pot of gold from the bank. After buying this house, this is the film being shown. The banker tells a true entrepreneurial story. In the United States in the 1950s, a black man who was subjected to all kinds of discrimination fought in the white world. How inspirational the next business empire is. There is a momentum and rationality in this black man named Bernard Garrett. It's worth learning from each of us. Played by Marvel's Falcon, Anthony McCain. Although he hasn't used his fist in the whole process, his locked eyebrows still contain burst tension.